Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first edition in a project which we feel is going to be special uh, uh, in the months and years to come. Uh, we are being joined by two exceptional gentlemen for our first edition of the GDI pod. Essentially, we're looking, we'll be looking at uh, global digital innovation uh, during a series of monthly podcasts, which we'll be organizing together with Victor Vevera. Hello and welcome, uh, Victor. Victor is Director General of the National Institute for Research and Development in terms of informatics in Romania. And speaking of our second very special guest, it's Jonathan Reiter from uh, the world-famous Chain uh, Argos Global Blockchain uh, um, Consultancy. Uh, uh, and together we'll be talking much more about global trends, but also about the partnership. And the reason why we are uh, doing this now is that we're in the margin of one other successful edition of the so-called DISB in Bucharest. And with this occasion, we're seeing something really special in between your two organizations. And uh, which one of you would like to go first and on which, uh, on which side? Uh, I can try Please. to be first. Yes, we are today. It's just yesterday was a final cut of uh, Digital Innovation Summit Bucharest, mm -hmm. a, a very big event, and uh, was a very successful meeting for everybody. It was the third edition of uh, Cyber Diplomacy Forum, International Cyber Diplomacy Forum, and a seventh edition of uh, Critical Infrastructure Forum, Hackathon, business to business meeting. Uh, meeting with a workshop for uh, hypercomputing, a lot of activities in Palatul Parlamentului. And now, today, we start because in this mm, three days of uh, Digital Innovation Summit, we sign a new agreement. Agreement with uh, Chain Argos. Jonathan is here. It's our partner in this new era of blockchain. And now we start about blockchain intelligence. This is why here, and thank you, Radu, you are here to not to moderate because we are not, uh, we, are, we are just in, in a partnership, for yes. <laughs> but uh, you are here just to, to keep the balance, to present everything from our side and from Chain Argos side because it's just news, very good news. You're Singapore based and globally active. And uh, from this perspective, what brought you to Bucharest? So we've come here specifically to launch a Blockchain Intelligence Academy partnership with ICI Bucharest. Um, so we, crypto asset value transfer, blockchain digital asset transfers, um, are, it's a global thing, it's a global process. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these networks operate, operate uh, all around the world and different stakeholders have different interests in what to do with, how to use this data, um, how to build proper intelligence platforms. So we're here to launch a partnership um, involving public and private parties to help build a, a good collaboration, education, exploration, intelligence, reporting, you know, building a, a, a competence in a lot of different important areas here. Um, there's a center in Romania that's interested in doing this. Um, we're interested in pushing these things out, um, developing our private sector capabilities, sharing with public sector stakeholders, and you know, sharing things in a way that helps everyone have a better understanding of what's going on. Um, crypto asset transfers, the use of blockchains for conveying information and financial other sorts of um, asset, whatever, manipulation, um, organization are becoming a bigger thing. This is going to happen for a long time into the future, and it's important to get everyone at least working together, learning how to use tools, sharing tools, sharing results, you know, building a positive collaborative environment. A lot of that begins with education and training. Yes. So taking people with the relevant skills for the interest area, the stakeholder they work for, and then bringing things together so that we can leverage what they know, they can leverage what we know, and we can build better, more useful tools and better systems for, you know, managing public transactions in the future mm -hmm. of a variety of sorts. Speaking of the future, you know, we are we are preparing for the future, and this is a really important niche. But also talking about the present, I loved when you said like, let us, you know, talk to everyone. Let's say we're talking to my mom. And, and my mom, who is a really special lady for me, but a really simple, uh, you know, lady in terms of tech, and tells us I have a report to her afterwards like a dutiful son. Uh, I tell her, mom, I just had a chat with two fascinating people about blockchain intelligence. In short, for somebody who is not in our field, what would that mean, blockchain, in layman's words? Okay. So by blockchain intelligence, we mean putting together tools, systems, procedures, the things that you need mm -hmm. to usefully leverage 
blockchain data. So if someone's running a crypto asset transfer, uh, a system for transferring value using you know, crypto to tools, mm -hmm. blockchain tools, intelligence is all of the work you need to do around that, bringing everyone together so that you can make use of this public information. Uh, getting a whole bunch of numbers out of a computer doesn't in and of itself help anyone. You need people from various parts of the public sector that know financial information, investigative information, surveillance information. So we do that for safety, right? Safety well, of transactions, safety of interlocutors. Well, we're doing this to understand what's happening better. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that's as simple as soundness of a financial system, financial asset, financial system. You know, people are scam mm -hmm. victims. People also want to use these technologies to run things more efficiently. Right? So you need to make sure there's soundness associated with that measuring efficiency, teaching people how to use it. Now, if your mother is to use a system launched by some you know, digital institution yeah. in Romania, whatever field this is going to be in, she's probably not equipped to evaluate if it's more safe, more efficient, quicker, cheaper, whatever it is, but she would have confidence in some stakeholders in the regulatory space making that evaluation. And you need to get to a point where that's achievable. Right, because just saying, please use this; it's better. She may trust you, mm -hmm. but if it's a thing you can't evaluate, you know, you need some more infrastructure. And I, that. I myself, I will have to make that simple for yeah. her. Right? Yeah. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Now, yeah. but why would we, for example, why would we do a public-private partnership on this, uh, in order to educate everybody, to train our people at the state level, also create an ecosystem? You know, what's the case for the PPP? First, I want to. Tell something about the uh, National Institute of Research and Development in IDNC. We are under Romanian government, mm -hmm. and we our job, our objective is to create competence for public sector. And now we are in a digital world. It's a big data in part of blockchain technology, and it's necessary to have these skills for many jobs not just for financial, not just for security. Mm -hmm. It's necessary to have people train in this area and have these skills to create in the part of a state entity, people can do this with the same quality like in a private. And this is a reason we push to create like uh, uh, this academy in blockchain. We started in 2060 to create in, in uh, National Institute of Research and Development, Ichi, mm -hmm. uh, first excellence center for blockchain. And from this time, in 2060, we create a lot. We create a laboratory in blockchain. We create new first uh, marketplace for NFT in mm -hmm. blockchain was launched uh, last year on the seventh edition of Critical Infrastructure Protection Forum. We create a lot of uh, opportunity to work with blockchain, but now we think it's time to have like uh, an entity, like an academy to train people to use not just the uh, blockchain technology, to use these uh, tools give us by uh, Chain Argos to have a very clear idea about all this transaction. And this is a reason, and the partnership between public and uh, private is necessary. It's mandatory because private have are very agile and make a lot of. Uh, Which is the case everywhere, right? yes, in, around the world. Yeah. Make make a lot of new business, and for a state, for a public, is necessary to have these skills because it's a part of duty for a lot of entity in uh, law enforcement, in intelligence, in financial, for everything, to have a very clear framework about this. Because don't hesitate to ask me, yes, blockchain and uh, all new technology can use for terrorism, for criminality, uh, infractionality. Like any platform, right? Yes. We can use it for the good it's or for a, the bad, right? It's a technology, it's a tools can be used by good people, can be used by bad people. Mm -hmm. And the state, it's mandatory to be enough strong to stop the bad activity. Mm -hmm.